So it's first thing in the morning. I just woke up, rolled out of bed about 10 minutes ago. I ended up hanging out um, online all night till like 3 o'clock in the morning. And so I'm going on like, I don't know, five hours of sleep maybe. But it's okay. It's all good. I, I don't feel too bad right now. I got a lot to do today. I have to try to stop by this um this place at one of the rehabs where i can start taking this class it's like a computer skills class but anyway it's got like a certificate at the end when you graduate it's got a certificate for the um for syracuse university so it just looks nice to have and it's like a simple course i can take it's like an office skills like computer skills class something like that and then i've got to hit the gym as always um, and then I have outpatient at 1.30. I think at the gym today I'm going to be doing some, uh, I think I'm going to do arms actually. Because I, I was coming up with this plan yesterday. If I do arms today, which is Wednesday, and then I do, um, do arms today, what was I going to do tomorrow? Maybe shoulders tomorrow. And then by Friday I can do leg day, which will put me at two leg days for this week. Because my last leg day was on Sunday. I'm starting to feel better though. My legs were definitely, uh, definitely really, really sore uh, after a Sunday's leg workout. So I've been really trying to hit legs twice a week, hit them hard. I'm going to go brush my teeth. I'm going to go turn this back on. I know my hair is fucking ratchet. <clears throat> I haven't straightened it in probably like two or three days, but I don't know. I'm just kind of looking in the mirror, checking out my physique, you know, just looking to see where I can make improvements, you know, what improvements I have been making. I'm going to show you guys just kind of where I'm at. <clears throat> Always so congested in the morning. Um, you know, like I would say I'm fairly happy with where I'm at this morning. Um, my, you know, my midsection's looking pretty lean and shredded. I'm feeling good about where I'm at on the on the side obliques here. Uh, the back fat is just still still there, so I'm still working on that, but trying to, I've been really focusing on the lower lats, so you know, I'm not I'm definitely not disappointed with my progress. V line looks really good. A lot of people think that, you know, I'm being like how do you say it? narcissistic or self-centered or you know all I care about is my physique my aesthetics and man it's just like a hobby of mine it's just a hobby like that's just what I'm into that's just what I'm into my hobby is myself you know my hobby is myself and some people they like to race cars other people go hunting other people play guitar or you know jam out in a band every day some people are just into like uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It could be anything. It could be playing chess. Like I, I don't care what it is. Uh, that's my hobby, though. My hobby is just kind of like aesthetics, bodybuilding, and yeah, and just being into myself and trying to, trying to you know look as as good as I can. You know, actually, this girl I was talking to gave me some tips about my eyebrows, how to how to get the arch. She said you got to kind of comb them up. Comb them up and then you take scissors and you cut all the long extra pieces and that helps you helps you to get the arch. So I might try that. It's so nice when my bunkie isn't here because then I can just vlog and do whatever I want. I'm looking out the window and it is kind of cloudy so it might rain. I'm going to have to make sure to bring an umbrella. But it's going to be a good day. You know, I've got a couple errands i got to run. got to get to the gym and then I'm going to go to outpatient. I was talking with my counselor last night, my counselor here at the halfway house, and uh, <clears throat> basically discussing like living options after I get out of here. And what he thinks I should do is continue to go to school and work with the, um, uh, you know, the, the people that are handling my, my, my school funds, which is this organization called Access VR. They're like grants and stuff, but they can like help you out and give you loans for, um, or grants too, for rent assistance and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to look into that. But I mean, I, right now I'm comfortable like being at the halfway house for now. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be here forever, of course, but you know, I'm all right with it now. So I'm going to go film a video for my main channel. 
I'm actually going to be posting the results of my uh, blood test, if I can find them here. Where are my blood test results? Don't tell me I fucking lost them. Don't tell me I lost them. Here, is this it? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, I gotta find this. No, I have them. <clears throat> I know I have them. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find this in my drawer, but I'm gonna post my blood results on my main channel. So if you um are interested, go check that out at the Vegan Cheetah. Man, I've been up for like a couple hours now. I'm ready for the day, and it's really starting to hit me. I'm feeling like kind of sluggish. Feeling like I want to lay down and take a nap. Feeling like taking just a little capsule of my C4 and uh, waking the fuck up, but luckily, I'm actually kind of horny, it's weird, like, I feel, I don't know, I think it's like these new supplements I'm taking, but they make me really, really, really horny, uh, so I'm gonna head out the door, I, um, I'll probably turn the camera back on after I go to outpatient, I just wanna say I'm a little nervous today about going to outpatient, because I, the, the plan was I was gonna start looking for a job, and, like, a part-time job, and I didn't do it yesterday. Like, I was too nervous. I was too insecure. Like, I have a big, you know, gap in my employment. And also, like, I'm a convicted felon. And I don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm nervous to go looking for a job. The halfway house doesn't think I should go look for a job right now. Considering that I, I do have a little bit of part-time income online. And, you know, they want me to focus on my recovery. But my outpatient counselor is like, you know, you should definitely look for a job, whatever. And I told him I was because it was my idea. I was going to look, look for a job yesterday and I never got around to it. So I'm going to go and uh, talk through some of those issues with my counselor today at outpatient. Just about my insecurities uh, with, you know, the felony conviction and also the, the employment gap. I love you guys so much. Alright, so I gotta go to my appointment in about 10 minutes, but just wanted to show you guys what I'll be eating tonight after my workout. I made this big bowl of pasta. I'm just gonna wrap this up. We got a little bit of tomato sauce back there, so I'm gonna throw some of that on there later tonight. Throw it in the microwave, and I'll probably eat this whole portion after my workout. I'm gonna do arms today, so this will be some good post-workout carbs for me. Hey guys, I just got out of my session. I do individual sessions. A lot of people assume that I go to group therapy, but I don't. I go to individual sessions, but it was a good session. I uh, I was honest with my counselor, and I told him that I didn't go job searching yesterday because I was feeling insecure. I was worried about the employment gap, and I was worried about you know my felony conviction. These are just all like insecurities I have about trying to find a, a job. My next step, I think, is to try to see if I can get this position at uh, this um, local um, media company, WCNY. It'd go along with my major. And then we were talking about, uh, we talk a lot about my, you know, recovery, of course. And, you know, I don't want to take on too much at once. You know, I want to make sure that I'm stable in my recovery. I'm stable with, like, staying away from drugs and, you know, I'm starting school in January and I still do live at a halfway house and I don't want to derail any of that you know what I mean I don't want to I don't want to take on too much and get overwhelmed use drugs fuck everything up you know cuz I want to use drugs sometimes some mornings I wake up and I want to shoot heroin or you know maybe Friday Saturday night I'm just in the mood I'd like to go down to the west side and cop a couple bundles you know that's just like I'm not that far removed from my addiction so I guess the main theme is I need to be careful need to be patient and I really need to I guess um, figure out what I really need to focus on because yeah I want to do a lot of things I got a lot of great ideas you know well at least I think I do I think I got great ideas doesn't necessarily mean my ideas are conducive to my recovery because I have a thinking disease sometimes uh, everything I'm thinking and feeling it doesn't really add up in in reality so thank you so much for watching the video I'll be back tomorrow for you guys